Hey everyone, welcome to Echocalypse. Before we proceed to our top 10 SR cases, I'll have to direct you guys here in your icon, your basic data, and your questionnaire. Please do answer the survey so that the devs would be able to um, know what we think of the game, what needs to be improved, what's, what is good already, and please do answer this because all of us will benefit from the survey and the development moving forward. So without further ado, let's start off with our cases. My favorite, I'm not going to lie, is going to be Snezhana. Um, she was once my top DPS. She's now the third because I've acquired a couple of SSRs, but definitely out of all the SR cases, um, you need to, you know, focus on her if you need more DPS. Uh, she deals a lot of damage, dealing 100% magic damage. Single enemy this for, for what do you call this, for her attack, for her special, so, the big damage as well this is towards the front row 140 magic damage to the front row and for her passive we're gonna be um dealing with snes hana evaluates the situation when an ally is controlled silent stun or freeze she gains 20 percent damage bonus for one round up to two times per round so Again, she's one of my top DPS units. Please do uh, yourself a favor and level her up. She might be your second DPS, probably your top DPS unit once you start. Probably your third in the future. But definitely, she's going to stay in your lineup for as long as you don't have enough, uh, what do you call this, enough SSRs to bring in your lineup. Next, we're going to be discussing Rickin. So Rickin here is one of the healers in the game. So again, I'll be discussing um, a few healers around one, two, three, four. Four healers to be discussed. They are in the top SSRs because again, each of them have different specialties. And um, unless if you have an SSR healer ready, uh, you won't be using them. But definitely right now when you're starting out, um, you're gonna have to try to choose from either one, uh, one of the four healers because again they have different specialties to go along with their attack heal sorry with, with their with their heal okay so uh, so for <laughs> for Rickin, so she heals two random units with uh, uh, 77 percent attack next is what I like about her is her buff so increase all Alice attack by 15 percent for two rounds. This is big, especially if you have a damage-oriented team. I like her right now with the team that I'm built. That is why I'm using her. And for her passive, um, launches a normal attack. There's a 60% 60 60 chance of increased healing effect by 50% for one round. So that is it. That is why I like I like her more for the, the, the buff rather than the healing. So again, um, it's up to you guys on who are you preferring in terms of your team building or what your team is, is, is composed of. Okay, so one of, one of the new SRs that I've been using is Sil. So Sil, I like her because she has burn and damage transfer. She deals damage, big damage to the front row for her attack. Then she also deals another damage to the front row, 133% physical damage to front row with 40% chance of inflicting burn. So I assume that the chance to inflict burn increases, as you can see here. Burn is a is a DOT or damage over time effect. So this is actually a nice effect to have, especially if you have her leveled up already with with um level few levels up okay and her passive is seals obsession with the sword is due to her outstanding talent gain sword domain at the start of the battle so sword domain is transfer of 20 percent of damage to all enemies when performing any form of attack so again uh we're done with seal um i'm still experimenting on her but definitely she has a niche in some of the lineups especially if you need 
um, burn damage. And if you create a burn team, she is one of the best components to have on your team. Okay, so our next uh, SR would be our first healer that we all got, which is Riri. She is one, still one of the top healers, by the way, in this game. Um, Iriri attacks the enemies and heals allies with the lowest HP for 95% attack. Then when faced, uh, this is going to be her special. When faced with difficult situation, Iriri breaks the limit. Tation of her brain conceives most appropriate recovery plan. Iriri heals front low. So she is focused on front line, uh, front row ally healing. Okay, so take note of that when you use her. Um, she's focused on the three in front. Iriri learns her teammates for every ally retreating. Her healing effects are increased by 10%. This effect can stack up to three times and can't be removed. Okay, so again, if you need a frontline healer or a front row healer, then she is your girl. Next up, we have Yarina. So Yarina is, in a nutshell, a peer specialist. Her attack is she wields, uh, deals damage for 100% physical to a single enemy. Next is, I think, a damage to the front row, 140 damage, and additional damage to the target with the highest HP. So she really, she, she's kind of an assassin specialty. And her passive is performs a dance of death when cast when she casts a skill, her pierce increases by twenty percent. So again, if you prefer a more piercing type of DPS unit, then she is your girl. Okay, so next up is going to be Aurora. So Aurora is one of our healers again, um, and her specialty is healing and shields. So for Aurora, um, this is her basic attack. Has a talent for healing and re, uh, re, and the reagents she makes can heal allies up in her row for 53% of her attack. Aurora doesn't want to feed, to her, not want to feed her friends, want her friends to get hurt. So she developed a stimulating reagent to generate shields. So grant three random allies a shield 100% of attack. So, and her passive for the for compliments of budget, Aurora worked hard to make the sacrificial reagent first time. Aurora HP falls 50%. The ally with the least HP gains sacrificial reagent. So when taking damage, Aurora restores 15% of the damage to characters with sacrificial reagent as HP. Okay, so if you need a healer which specializes in heals and shields, then Aurora is your girl. Don't forget that heal... Uh, increases as your attack increases and that applies to all healers okay we have yanling here she is a back row damage specialist for dps the uh, dealing her attack is dealing 100 100 percent magic damage to a single target then her special is Deals 133 damage, uh, magic damage to back row enemies. And her passive is actually just increased. So first time Yanling, HP falls below 30. Her attack increases by 20% for the whole battle. So an increased attack for the back line for this girl. Okay, we have next is Senko. So Senko, I sometimes swap out Sen swap in Senko uh, and take Sil out. Uh, both of them are good uh, as well um, for Senko by the way she is a specialist in row damage so the row in front of her so two enemies she can damage so uh, deal 73 physical damage to a single row of enemies that is her attack her special is dealing 183% physical damage to a single row and her passive is uh, when she deals crit attack, her damage is increased by 5 and stacking up to 4 times for the whole battle. So this goes up to 40. So be sure to increase her crit attack when you build her. She's a terrific um, addition for DPS just in case you need more DPS for your team. Okay, so for our last healer, this is going to be Iori. She, she actually is part of my team. She's one of the two healers that I've been swapping in and out. Uh, I've been using her as well. Uh, so for her attack, so Iori heals frontline, front row allies with 50%, 53% of attack. And 
Her specialty is really on heals, H, um, armor, resistance, and also, as you can see here, shields. So, okay, so there's a 50% chance to increase armor resistance by 20 for two allies with the lowest HP for two rounds. So, take note of that. Her specialty is also different as a healer. And lastly, her passive is Iori's fraternity allows her to turn pain into strength. Her first time her HP drops below 30, her healing effects are increased by... 30% for two rounds. One one of the most reliable healers and no uh, resistance and uh, shield givers that we have. I don't have a problem with her. Um, she's one of the two healers that I use and I think you guys should also invest in her too. Okay, so for the last one, uh, last SR that we have, I have here Catch. So for Catch, um she specialized in low hp targets and also crit reduction and attack reduction so for her attack is damage to lowest hp 95 percent magic damage her special is uh reduces targets crit by 20 percent as you level her up it's gonna include attack by 15 percent as well which is a big difference guys and um her passive is going to be catch changes her battle strategies. The first time her HP falls 30 or below 30, her dodge increases by 15% for two rounds. So again, she is going to be more survivable as her HP lowers. And um, this goes down to 50% triggers 50 below 50% HP and dodge increases by 20%. Okay, so that is the list of all the top SSRs, exactly 10 SSRs that I think you should invest in and take a second look at, especially if you're starting the game right now. People are experimenting on all of these, but these 10 will definitely be very helpful to you guys. So recap is going to be Snezhana, Rikian, Sil, Eriri, Yarina, Aurora, Yanling, Senko, Iori, and Cash. So invest in them as early as now. You'll be using a lot of SRs in the game. Majority as you start this game, especially if you're free to play. And uh, that is it, guys. Put comments down below um, if you think my, my, my list of uh, the top 10 is good. And if you think I missed out on somebody on the top 10, please do put them down again in the comment section. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.